Oh my god, eh? Oh, I thought I'd better salvage me blooming new radiator cap. <laughs> I think that's about the only thing that was worth salvaging out of that motor. Anyway, you've come along at the right time. We're at the pointy end of the project. We're going to try and get the crane off of here. And I think if I don't actually get the crane off of this truck and onto my other truck, well, the whole project will have been a dead loss. But anyway, fingers crossed. Say a prayer. Give a chant. I don't know, all of the above. Help me out. Here we go. Tell you what, this is where you guys are along, otherwise I might lose, mo lose me mojo and just go home. So it gets pretty exciting, but I have to make this work, even though it doesn't really look all that flash. I got my figure, I was talking to a bloke at a B conference the other day and he says, oh, I see a new crane. Ha ha ha, don't forget to get some solenoids for it. So I'm thinking we'll get it on the new truck and we might run it into the auto electrician and get the few wires fixed up and buy a few spare solenoids to put in the tool kit. But I figured I'll see if I can get it off this old truck first before I do too much more excitement. Although I couldn't figure out how to get the jolly thing to the auto electrician in the condition it's in any rate. So we'll put it on this new truck and we'll find out what's going on. Ooh. Charge! <laughs> Honestly, the things that go on... <sighs> if a bloke had some more money, he might have just skipped over all this excitement and just gone and got himself a blooming proper fork truck. I see all the little trucks and trailers and bees going everywhere in the Riverland at the minute, and I'm all envious, all these cute little forklifts everywhere. But anyway, one thing at a time. You can't do everything, can you? I thought it was a good transition. We'll get this crane on there, and that truck we bought, and we'll be able to tow a trailer eventually. If I ever get a tow bar put on it. If we screw this up, we might just skip over this craney part. But anyway, hopefully not. Anyway, we'll just have to find the right size spanner. I'm thinking I'll put a spanner on the top and I'll get the socket set underneath and we'll give it a bit of a twist. And then I've got to cut it up here somewhere. No, no, I haven't decided we have to cut it just yet, but we'll get to that bit in a minute. But I figure we'll see if we can undo the bolts first, because if we can't undo the bolts, well then, you know, the project's in all sorts of strife. <laughs> What do you reckon? Two sizes? What's that? Gosh, three quarter. No, that's a bit. Yeah. Okay, must be a 316. Oh, that's a nice snug little fit. Cool. Right. I'll just check underneath because sometimes the nut on the head of the bolt is different to the nut that's on the bolt. <laughs> if that makes any sense. That looks good. That'll work, hopefully. If we can turn the jolly thing, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, oh gosh, who needs to go to the gym? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, so somewhere in here, there should be a 316 spanner. What's that reckon it is? 15, that's not gonna happen. Oh my goodness, I can't even see it's so well kept. Maybe we'll just put it on there. I can't see the writing. Nope, a little bit small. Mm, it's got to be one in here somewhere. Well, that'll, I don't know. We'll try that out. I reckon that's, it's not the same one, but holy, we got a 316 in my fancy toolbox. No guarantees though, is there? <laughs> be ending up using the multi-purpose tool if I'm not careful. My uncle used to call them a nut stripper because <laughs> he reckons they weren't, they weren't the thing you should use. You should get the right size spanner. Don't be such a ruffian. So nothing's really changed, is it? No, 13, 16. Well, that's that one. So I was hoping we could get a ring spanner, but oh well, this will left. This will be all right. Maybe depending on which way the bolt turns. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking this blooming thing's been mounted on this truck probably longer than I've been alive. So. Could be interested to see if we can undo any of this. I wonder if that's how they invented the soccer runner. That would hurt if you hit yourself in the head with that, wouldn't it? I'd we'll probably knock your teeth out. No. Anyway, let's see if we can undo something. Oh, I wonder how tight this is going to be on here. God. <laughs> ah, it's not very bloody convenient, is it? <laughs> ah. Oh, 
fantasy land, Mr. Nico. Oh, it even moved. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, it's usually the way you only get one out of three, and it's usually the first one just to get you enthusiastic. <laughs> not that I want to be too negative. Oh, there goes the nut. Oh, oh my poor mum. <laughs> I hope this actually works out for us. <laughs> Now for the fun part, we got to get, that didn't even move. We didn't need a spanner after all that. The bolt up here hadn't even moved. That like just sat in there like rusted in. Oh shit, that can't be good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. We might have to go to the, we might have to go to the pub for the Friday tradies lunch, I reckon. <laughs> they might not let me in. Anyway, we'll do the Max more harder one. Next more harder. That's great English, isn't it? <laughs> Radio, upside down you go. Uh, na, 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 na. Oh, so far so good. I wonder if we'll put these bolts in the old collection bolt pot. <laughs> See if they're any good. Hell, I tell you what, they drilled the holes pretty precisionly. Doesn't look like Bush B-Man hole drilling to me. Three down. Oh, yep, that nut's gone where the radiator cap went. <laughs> oh, help. I'm getting too old for this madness, honestly. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> one thing at a time. Three down, one to go. Let's be positive. Oh, oh, old man Waddle. Goodness me. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Actually, my song would probably be Nobody Knows the Troubles I've Created, wouldn't it be? Nobody knows but me and perhaps the rest of the world. We must have remembered to get the diesel out of here too because we filled this up, so it's probably a few bucks worth in there. Maybe if we get all else fails, we'll use it for our Oil and sump oil, no, what is it going to be? Sump oil and diesel treatment of our pallets, so. Anyway, I digress, I'm on to the next project and I haven't even got this one done. Oh, that's kind of crazy, look at that, I'm even done doing it with my fingers. The usual rule is that the last one doesn't undo at all or is really horrible, but that was the easiest one, so. Ha! Let's not get overconfident though, we haven't got it off yet. So I reckon the next bit we gotta cut a bit of a, cut the support bar off. I'm just wondering, would that be completely scabars if I was to utilize this as my extra support beam? That would be all right, wouldn't it? I think that might be a bit ambitious though. I think we'll cut it off of here and we'll start again. Because all of that's actually just bolted there. I thought it was all part of the show. But I think it's just sitting there. Just sort of sits between the deck of the, it's its own thing. I don't know, I didn't think that would unbolt, but I reckon we might actually try and unbolt that before we go any further. Now that I've lost the nuts off me bolts and I've just done gone to all the trouble of undoing. Yes, well, let's do that. Oh God. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> what is that? Is that welded there? Where's my screwdriver? I had a crappy screwdriver in here somewhere. No! Oh, all the best laid plans. I didn't, oh no, hang on, it's not, no, it's just a bit of shit, or is it? I think it's just dirt stuck in there. Yeah, well I reckon that's, that's its own thing, so. That kind of means we have to try and bolt it back together again. Oh shit. We'll <laughs> spray a bit of penetrine on this and see if we can undo them. And if we can undo them, we'll have to see if we can find the nuts that we dropped on the ground. Ugh. 
Come on! Very bloody things. Right to the last thread. Ah! You know you're in trouble when the bolt warms up, <laughs> when you're undoing it. <laughs> Did they make life any more complicated, honestly? God. It's not being very cooperative. This is the typical rule, the last one's always the most annoying. Nice and blooming hot, bud. <laughs> God damn it. God, man, you bastard. Oh, fuck. You're a kitty. <laughs> that is just obviously seized up like you wouldn't believe. Oh, don't like it, John. Don't like it at all. Why does it have to be so mean to me? I'm just trying to get it organised. Yeah, my God. Yeah, mongrel. Come on, we're nearly there. Oh. Yay! That'll teach you a rotten little bolt. Put you in a bolt box and let you rot. Pretty fine little thread, no wonder it won't undo. <sighs> now, we'll put the nuts back on that we took off first of all, and then we'll be all good. <laughs> Somewhere in here there's a bloody split washer. <laughs> but that won't matter. I think we might replace all these bolts anyway. Because we'll have to change this once we get it off. Yeah. We'll just put it back together for the minute. <sighs> now for the exciting part. <laughs> Well, I reckon that's starting to come together. Next thing we'll just do the electric cable, cut that off. I think we're gonna replace all those cables anyway, but still. No point in destroying them until we get to the replacing part, is it? So we'll do that. It'll be a bit of entertainment to see if we can lift the jolly thing. Just as well I've got a strong cameraman. Oops, there's electrical in there or something. I think they do this sort of crap. I think we might actually get it rewired, but we'll get it together and make sure it sort of works and then we'll get take it over and get it rewired up. And I think it needs some new brushes in that old motor too. I was fooling around with that the other day. So and then we'll tizzy her up, make a bit of paint. Ah, look like a bought one. Hell, if we're not careful, we'll look like beekeepers. What are we gonna do with this truck? <laughs> I don't know. Oh gosh. What'd you say? It's a bit of a wreck, son. <laughs> oh, my mum was having a soup the other day saying, how long's that bloody truck got to stay in my front yard? It's an eyesore. I don't think we've, I'm feeling her full of any confidence every time she drives past this truck. Doesn't want to have to keep having the conversation with her neighbours about, what's that thing in your front yard, Jean? What's going on? <laughs> so the pressure's on. Get it out of the way, you wild son. Even if we took it to the recyclers, I don't think they'd want it, would they? But I'm, I'm hopefully I'm going to turn it into a stand to fill up my spray in it so I don't have to lift so high. But we'll see if that comes together. That's a whole different project. First things first, get it out of the way. That's one down, one to go. Oh, what in that shit job. Different jolly size. Ugh. No, that's not going to happen. What the heck? Come on. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been undone. <laughs> okay, we might just be snipping that off. Come on, you stupid thing. Ah, oh, the one time I think, oh well, it'll be easy enough, we'll just undo it. It doesn't want to undo. This is the this is the bush bee man remedy to a nut that won't undo. At least all the important nuts undid, so <laughs> stuff it. That's one way to solve a problem. <laughs> right, let's for the excitement see if we can get the thing off. I reckon if we put the forks up, 
there, but we won't lift from there. We'll put a chain through here and lift here and hopefully the forks can bounce it up and the chain can do the lifting. But, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're gonna try and see what happens. I think that'll work. I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we don't have to continue on if it decides to fall over, do we? We can stop. That's why I'm in charge of the levers. Whether that's gonna make anybody feel confident, I don't know, me in charge of the levers, but still. So I figure we'll just take stuff off the truck here that we don't want to get wrecked, and then we'll, we'll give it a lift and see what happens. I think we might have to update the fire department. <laughs> that's looking a bit dodgy. Hope the crane's more successful than the knapsack. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh-oh, now we're in trouble. <laughs> God, the chief inspector's arriving. <laughs> we're in all sorts of strife. Hold your breath, mother. <laughs> it is, it is. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get it out of your front yard so you won't have to be pestered by your neighbours as much. Anyway, we're about to see if we can wreck it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Say a little prayer. It'll be rather interesting in a minute. We were hoping to get away with it before you turned up. <laughs> It's cameras. Exactly right. Now lots of yelling and shouting is going about to happen, so yeah. here we go. No. Hang around. You might want to stand over that way a bit with yeah, or, might, or back a bit. Might spin around and hit me on the head. Yeah, we don't want that. That looks suitably dangerous. <laughs> God. It might help if my forks weren't so crooked. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Whether we go with both or just the one. Of course, my chain's not going to be long enough, is it? So we might just go with the one. We might just go with the one fork. She's not impressed. I don't think she's a true believer just yet. <laughs> not that I blame her, really. Uh, what's that song? I'm a believer, I can lift her if I tried. Ha! Hey, come on. There we go. That'll work. If not, we'll go and buy some more chain. Okay. He goes nothing. <laughs> so that's bolted on. That that front bit was bolted there. I was going to cut the mount, like cut the crane off of it, and then I thought, oh, maybe we could unbolt that and lift the whole thing because we'll need to put another bracing bar yeah, in the middle anyway on that one. Yeah, that's right. So I thought, well, this might just work. I diddly diddly. <laughs> we will find out in a minute. Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> It's this bolt, this side is just gripping a bit, so I was just seeing if I can give it a little bit of a lever. My giddy aunt. <laughs> ah, hell, the things we do. <laughs> it's a bit of a rough crowbar. thinking this is one of those farmers moments when you get crushed. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'll just lift it a little bit more and see what's going on. Hope we've got enough lift otherwise that'll suck. <laughs> I guess we can always shorten the chain.
I think we've run out of lift. Ah! <laughs> Blue <Blooming heck. laughs> Oh dearie, dearie, dearie. Now, if the silly bloody thing decides to go sliding off the end of the um, fork bar here, don't try and catch it, all right? Just get the hill out of the way. <laughs> if you're good at the tiles down, that'll give you a couple of more. That's a good idea. That would work. You'd have a four inches or so, wouldn't it? I like the way you think. Yeah, that could work. Well, we'll see. Well, I've shortened the chain now, so we'll see if we get enough lift. And... Yeah. But that's a good idea. Yeah. That could work. I don't think this truck's ever going to get registered somehow. I don't think so, no. Well, it's not worth registering. I don't think so. I don't think we'd get over the roadworthy test somehow. No. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just wondering whether we should cut those bolts off. <laughs> I think we'll hack those bolts off because I reckon that's what's holding it, but either that or it's too jolly heavy for our crazy forklift, which wouldn't you wouldn't think so. Oh what? Hang on, that was a, I put that, I must have had that on the charger properly. No, darn. Oh well, that's that idea shot to hell. <laughs> Ow, damn it. Ow. I think we might have to change to the other fork because I think we've bent the crap out of this one. Off to the engineer shop we go. Anyway, we might as well make them both crooked. <sighs> I don't know. Oh <laughs> well, we'll see what that does. Because I reckon it's just because it's not able to come up true. Either that or it's just too blooming heavy. <laughs> this thing wouldn't weigh more than a ton, surely. Although it's not ideal because it's out the end of the fork, but... <sighs> I think we'll go and get ourselves a battery and we'll be back. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Be a bit of a mongrel this is not what's holding it down, won't it? But it seems, I don't know. Anyway, we'll start here and see where we end up. Hmm. Oh well, if it doesn't lift now, <laughs> we've got some other problem. Here we go, here we go. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Have I missed the boat? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's helpful. Oh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Once we get it up, it's going to go forward a little bit. Oh, well, that's bloody brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> I was saying it can't be that bloody heavy. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to just cut that bit off. I didn't even think that would, that's hooking on that part of the truck. Oh, blooming hell! Good idea. At the time. Maybe it wasn't those bolts at all. <laughs> they were all very happy. Happy, happy, happy! Oh dear. <laughs> Do you reckon we could just bash it forward a bit for a start and then we'll see what that does and then we can cut it off when we can get at it? Where's the sledgehammer? There we go. What's that bloody, is that a fixed bracket there or what? It is too. No wonder that wouldn't come up. <laughs> it was never coming off of there. Uh, here I'm thinking, me bloody forklift was a bit piss poor, but still. <laughs> Couldn't be expecting it to lift the whole truck, could we? Uh, even if it is only a little truck. Uh, this one hasn't got a lug. Oh, that's a bit weird. The other side's got a lug and this one hasn't got a lug. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the lug just came off. Cool. Now all we've got to do is get past the deck of the truck and we'll be on the money. Well, I reckon that's past it there. Oh, well, here we go. Got me all paranoid now. <laughs> I think when I let it down, I'm gonna to have to get you to lever it forward. So if you do it that side, at least it won't land on you then. <laughs> That's about, got about that much to go until it comes out. There we are. Yay, beautiful. Yahoo. Anyway, well, technically we're free, so we'll see where we get on from there. Boy, oh boy. This is when your heart starts pounding in your chest. Oof, close to the finish line, things can go awry. <laughs> Starting to get overconfident. Slowly, slowly goes the ship. Oh. Ow. I'm just wondering whether we should leave these little lugs here and then cut a hole in the deck of the truck and so it's got a little bit more support or whether we just make it all flush and just weld it down. <sighs> I don't know. Either option's probably a bit crazy. Well, we got it off, Mum. That's progress, isn't it? That is, that is. So we're, we're in with a chance. Well, we're getting a bit of progress as long as we don't drop it from this point on. No, no, no. Well, it should be. It's pretty well tied on, isn't it? Yeah, because this is, I don't know, too... 30 and I reckon the new truck's 240 so it'll be 10 mil. Actually you know what I reckon we cut them off and we'll have to make new ones anyway because if we're going to hook them to the main struts they're not going to be in the right spot. What's the tray made out of? The new tray's made out of steel. But I'm just sort of thinking about the strength of the whole thing with it if it went through the deck mm. you would have another sort of another bit to pivot against yeah. rather than it just being welded. Yeah. Now we'll go and have a look. Shall we go and have a look? <laughs> what if I bring a tape measure then we'll actually know what size it is. It's a bit bigger truck. <laughs> yeah, make sure I'm the right place where you can see the hole. 
Yeah, well, one would hope. It's too wide for the, to put on the outside. And I think it's a bit too narrow for the inside. Maybe we'll just measure it at the back where it's easy. <laughs> Let's see where we are. It's gonna be that hard to cut through. And then we can weld it to one of these struts and it'll be super stable. But what have we got here? We have got six. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be typical, isn't it? It's gonna end up, Oh, well, that still might be all right. It's gonna end up exactly on top of one of these bloody struts. Just not good. But I think we'll leave the lugs on. Cut a hole in the deck and weld them to these struts and then that'll be nice and safe. What do you reckon? I think that's what we'll do. Heck, this is all welded together, that'd be fun. <laughs> if we get away with it, we might even do the same either end so we can actually make it really strong. Because I reckon when you've got a couple of boxes of bees swinging out at the end of that crane, we could have a bit of leverage. Looks like we're gonna to have to be a to be continued because I think there's a little bit too much here to do to even play the fast forward music. So anyway, you never know, here we go. Part two of, so part two will be coming up soon because we're, part one's about done.